create attribute list under information templates so you see i will first go to the definition of an information template to show you how it looks like and where attribute list gets leveraged okay and then we'll go and create a new attribute list to be used in a new information template okay so let's go to Oracle Fusion Cloud. All right, so I'm gonna go to procurement dashboard and then from procurement springboard, I'm gonna go to catalogs work area. And within that, I'm gonna go to the task menu. And from here, I'm gonna go into manage information templates from the right hand side. Okay, and as you could see here, um, I'm going to first use an existing information template to show the functionality of attribute list. So, okay, what I've done, sorry. I'm going to click here and then use this edit button. So, as you could see, this is the form to create a new information template. On the right hand side, you will see an attribute list. So, this attribute list defines what are all the attributes that you wish to be captured by a requisitioner who is entering the requisition and you can associate this particular attribute list to a category or to an item okay and only then it will pop up you can make it as optional or a mandatory field okay so every attribute list can have one or more than one attributes or segments associated with them to capture those additional details okay now you see there are predefined attribute lists over here so let's say you don't have an attribute list that you wish to have and let's say you want to capture some special courier instructions and you don't see it over here so you may want to create a new attribute list to capture those courier instructions and those courier instructions you want to capture it only for specific items so for that you have to create a new attribute list so i'm going to cancel this out okay and then i have to go to setup and maintenance to create a new attribute list so let's go into setup and maintenance under purchasing self-service procurement so let me go there all right so there i am in setup and maintenance I'm going to come out of uh, manage information template value set and you see you have to search here using manage information template descriptive flex field search criteria okay and hit the search button you see that's what we have been searching for manage information template descriptive flex fields so click on this hyperlink and now it has opened that particular descriptive flex field for information template so you click on this one in edit mode so one more thing you may want to see here is the deployment status presently someone has edited it in the past so it is not been deployed as yet so once we are done with our editing we'll come here and deploy it okay so until then leave it as it is go to the edit mode okay and within that one you see this is the definition of the descriptive flex field you don't have to worry about this at the moment what I'm going to do here is to show you that context sensitive segment so presently these are all the context that's been defined and that's what we have seen it in the information template attribute list but the one that we wish to have it is something to be defined as a new context okay so how do you go and define a new context so the way is pretty simple if you go on to manage context from the right top hand corner you can see this button manage context click on this one and from here you can use this field to search the existing context and all those will be shown which were shown in the information template attribute list right so all you have to do is click on this particular create button to define a new attribute list for your attribute for let's say special courier instructions so i'm going to give the same thing special 
for a instructions okay and the context code and api name will be automatically copied from the display name and then you can give some description i'm going to simply copy paste the same thing okay and you see this is the flex field code por information template okay and here you can give the context uh, sensitive segment so first you have got to save this particular context only then it will be enabled you see you go to actions the create function is disabled right now so save it and then it will be enabled you see now it is enabled so actions create okay you can either use actions create or use this plus button to create a new segment within that descriptive flex field so here i'm going to give uh, details of that particular segment so for let's say something like this or instead of this let's say okay something like this and it has copied the code and api name automatically using this name and leave it enabled and give the data type as character and value set is the one that we have created in the previous movie right and what was that if you recall that was 150 characters so use that one and you don't have to give the range and you don't have to make it required leave it and initial default if you want to default a value then you can give it over here or simply leave it and prompt is copied from the name so leave it as it is but you can always update this if you like okay and display type is text box or you know a different area over here like a text area or a drop down list and so on so in our case um, it would be either text box or text area okay so i'm going to leave it as it is and display size you may want to wish a size so let's say 60 characters or maybe more than that let's say 80 characters and you can also specify display height and and optionally define help text and instruction help text and that will be coming like a boilerplate okay on this particular segment and then i'm going to simply save and close this segment and that is all i want to give it right and let's go back and see whether everything is all right you see one important thing that i missed out was column assignment where the value of this segment will go and reside in the table and that will be residing in this attribute one so now that we have saved it um, you can't change it but at the time of creation you can always um, give alternate attribute in terms of database column say we have given attribute one you can give attribute two three four or attribute 15 and so on okay so i'm gonna save and close so now you are done with uh, defining the attribute list for your information template in the next movie i'm going to show you how you can leverage this particular attribute list in your information template so now you see that list that we define is also coming over here in your context under special courier instructions so you will just come out of these forms now okay and then the next thing you have to do is deploy this flex field still the deployment status is edited and now you see deployment is in progress so basically it is validating the flex field to make sure there are no errors okay and you can see the details by expanding this uh, particular field flex field metadata validations and it will be shown over here if at all any errors are encountered you see you can 
scroll down to see the log what is happening behind the scenes so now you see it has validated completely and it has deployed that descriptive flex field por information template successfully okay and now it's ready to be used and this icon will be changed to green icon okay so hit the done button to come out of this descriptive flex field definition now in the next movie i'm going to show you how you can leverage this newly defined context for attribute list in our information template Thank you.